Hey folks, welcome back. Alright, it is a joyous moment here. So, we got this Champion's Kugel, or whatever it's called. The Champion's Cuddle. So anyway, yeah guys, check that out. 50% each. Now, that's each. So, randomly, it can choose to do, say, just fire. Uh, on, a, on a shot. Or randomly, it could choose to do all three. You know, fire, sh shock, and frost. Uh, randomly, it might not do any of those. But guys, my experiences are... Normally, most of my shots are pretty freaking devastating. Okay, so absolutely go ahead and disenchant that. And that turns into chaos damage. Now notice, I already have a better damage output. It's already up to 48 points of damage, and guys, we're not done there. Uh, and I'm not gonna, actually going to enchant this just yet. So you might notice my enchanting is up over 100 already. It's actually right at 100. So folks, with that being said... It is another joyous occasion here, because I am going right up to the top for that extra effect. Booyah! Okay guys, now in addition, I've been talking about this destruction a lot, and you might have noticed I just uh, kind of peeled away and did some training on my own. So I've got my conjuring up to 65, and guys, that's going to be crucial for when we go back to Solstheim. I'm going to be buying a spell tomb from the giant mushroom there. Uh, it's Conjure Dremia Lord, I think it's called. Uh, that needs a minimum of level 65 in Conjuration. Uh, in addition, I think it's only like level 55 or 60 or something. I'm also going to be getting the Ash Guardian spell. So guys, all the more reasons to just, you know, get that Conjuration up and get the training done until you get up to level 65 in Conjuration. Now that I'm going to be able to get that Dramia Lord, I won't have to buy any more training in Conjuration. That'll get us over the finish line here real, real quickly. But guys, getting back to the Champion's Cuddle here... There it is. And so I got Augmented Flames, Augmented Frost, Augmented Shock. In addition, that all stacks to the enchanting stuff. So now I've got Fire, Frost, Storm. Okay, I always put a quick save down before I start doing anything with potions or anything of the like. And I took the liberty of pre-crafting an Orcish Bow and upgrading it. Okay, right down to that chaos damage, guys. Now look what we're doing. 107 points each! In addition, you can also put the frost on there, guys. Look at that. And it does drop the other three elements when you add the frost on there a little bit. You know, 107 to 93, what is that, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 or something? Not terrible. It's definitely well worth doing that to get that extra 60 points of frost damage on there. All right, guys, so that's what I was crafting at before with my craft ab crafting ability, 165. That was a good, strong, you know, hard-hitting bow. And I don't even know that I have all my uniform items equipped for that super suit. Arch, 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 and arch. Okay, yes, I do. So, yeah, that's what I was pushing before. So I just recrafted a bow, and now I'm up to 187. You know, not a night and day difference, but I didn't do that much work on my crafting. I really only got the uh, daggers crafted up that I needed to. Uh, so that I could do the dummy enchanting to get my enchanting up to a hundred and guys I was able to do that by disenchanting banish and wow I was able to craft those daggers with that banish spell and it just really knocked it out pretty quickly So yeah guys there it is. So we were doing what 41 points of frost damage before Now we're up to 60 just in of itself and then with that chaos damage guys This bow is gonna be sick now, if I really wanted to, I could recraft an entire super suit for, you know, alchemy and smithing. But guys, we're not there yet. We're going to do some more rounds in Solstheim. And I'm going to hold off on my next round of, of uh, weapon and stuff upgrading, and you'll see why when the time comes. But for right now, I just wanted one more smithing potion at 105. I don't Change if you okay, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that bow that I just scooped I up. Got my smithing to... clothes on. Rock and roll. It does. Now, it only shows 84 because I don't have the archery clothes on, and that's okay. And guys, I already kind of did it beforehand. I, I got ahead of myself there. But I also went ahead and did up a uh, Falmer helmet. That requires that Cherus Chitin. I'm also going to show you guys that Circlet and Falmer helmet stack. Okay, so this one I'm going right for that Chaos. And I'm going right for the Soul Trap. So this will be my new Souls Bow. And I'm up to 11 seconds, not freaking bad. 
Alright, putting my archery super suit back on. You can see I'm back up to 187 now on both bows. And wow, guys, that 11 seconds, that 107 points of damage that's on there, uh, it, it's just an amazing weapon. So all my soul trapping, it's going to be a breeze. You know, things are going to die pretty quick now. And if I really want the extra attack power going into a fist fight, that's where it's going to be at, guys. With all that extra element damage, it's just going to be insane. So no reason to use this one anymore. That is no good. Okay, but I'm not done there. Apparently, Serana wants to enchant her Elder Scroll there, and that's okay. And guys, it's right for a circlet and a Truze helmet, or a uh, Falmer helmet. Okay, I'm going right for Fortify Archery. Booyah. I also want extra magic, because I'm really going to start casting more magic here. Okay, that's how I like that to read. That just tells me extra magicka, and if I put a minus after that, it tells me it's magic regeneration. Just my own little code there, so I know what I'm looking at. Then we're going to stack that with our Falmer helmet. And I'm going to do the exact same enchantments. Archery. Now, I could, you know, deviate a little bit and go magic regeneration, but I really want that extra magic in there. Okay, so I've got that the way I like it. Now, I, I put circlet in there instead of Falmer helmet. That's just so that they alphabetize right next to each other. But I put the F there so I know which is which. So just straight up circlet would be, you know, the circlet. Uh, circ F is the Falmer helmet. Okay, so there's our bow at 187, and folks, that's with our old super suit. That's with, you know, the gauntlets, the headpiece, the one headpiece, and then, of course, you know, the, the necklace and the ring. So now I've got four clothing items going into archery. Not a bad deal. So watch what happens when I remove that headpiece. Now, the bad thing about this is you lose set bonus. So, you know, if I have the set bonus perks activated, uh, that's the one bad thing about doing the stack. So you kind of have to give and take and make the decision based on the situation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, sacrifice my set bonuses right now for this specific purpose. And guys, this is only 32% 30 extra damage on bows. Uh, you know, before we were doing 34, so it's still pretty comparable. Uh, when I recraft a new super suit, guys, it's going to be 50 or better. It's going to be really, really nuts. But for right now, this is where we're at, guys. 213. Now, this is straight up base damage, assuming we're wearing all those clothing items. That can absolutely stack with a Marksman Potion. Look at that, guys. 420 freaking 7. And guys, when I'm telling you, you ain't seen nothing yet, you still ain't seen nothing yet. So when we get our smithing up there, when we get our alchemy up there, and we can do a better smithing potion, and when we recraft this entire set of, you know, smithing clothes, and we got all that stuff going in, guys, it is just going to blow your freaking mind. This bow is going to look like child's play. So yeah, in addition to all that other stuff I just said, we can go back into destruction, and I think I mentioned this earlier in the video. As soon as I get five more points in destruction, guys, bump, bump, bump. And then that, you know, that old, that old 25% is going to turn into 50%, and then that will even further increase that frost damage, the chaos damage, the whole nine yards, guys. It is just going to be an amazing day. So, folks, that's where we're at right now in my gameplay. So, you might wonder why I went to Solstheim and I did all that stuff, and I said, we're going to do this later, we're going to do that later. Uh, this was the reason right here and now, guys. So, folks, I hope that definitely helps you all out in combat. I hope you feel absolutely capable and invincible. That's the whole point of this video. So, folks, as always, please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Until the next time, best of luck and happy hunting.